Fire shoots like a meteor from the sky. Water turns to blood. A woman and a dragon do battle. Dry bones grow back flesh like they're coming back to life. Nope, I'm not talking about the latest Marvel movie or Game of Thrones. I'm talking about the Bible. And wow, does it have some crazy stuff in there. For instance, in Isaiah 6 verses 1 through 8, the prophet Isaiah is given a glimpse of God's throne. Here's a description. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above him were seraphim, each with six wings. With two wings they covered their faces, with two they covered their feet, and with two they were flying, and they were calling to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. Let's dive into seraphim. First, the name seraph means the burning one. Secondly, they were heavenly beings and their job was to fly around the throne room of God and proclaim his glory day and night. Their descriptions do sound like these angels came right out of a movie, but God's throne room isn't a Hollywood production. What Isaiah saw was real. He was standing in the face melting presence of Almighty God. It was so real, Isaiah was absolutely terrified by the living personification of perfection and holiness. It caused him to fall on his knees and hide his face in repentance because he saw the indescribable and uncontainable glory of the Lord. And from that point, Isaiah dedicated himself to bringing God's message and glory to the people of Israel. What does this have to do with you and I? How can we relate to this? Odds are we'll never get a real glimpse of God's throne room on this side of glory. But that doesn't mean we can't experience it here. We can sense it when we see physical creation. We feel it when we praise Him together in church. And it pours out of His infallible word when we open the Bible. So today, take a few moments to look for the greatness of our Heavenly Father around you. And like Isaiah, let God's unlimited bigness lead you to a life of change, worship, and repentance.